I want you to sit back and enjoy Miss Evelyn Nelson. Evelyn Nelson. Hey, praise God. I'm so glad we... Praise God. Evelyn Nelson. Hey, praise God. I'm so glad we finally got you on the show. It's my pleasure. Now, okay, now, we tease the audience. Okay. Silver Streak Lady, there's a backstory. Tell us about the backstory. Okay. Well, what it is is that silver means redemption. Mm -hmm. It also means uh, relationships being reconciled, brought back together. Mm -hmm. And streak means uh, events happening quickly in your life okay. over and over. Okay. Okay. And those events that had happened is that in my childhood, 
I lost my mother at a young age. Mm -hmm. I was placed in a foster home, and so I never got to know her. So at the age of 10, she was shot and murdered. Oh, okay. And then later on in my adulthood, when I was 37, my father was shot and murdered. Oh. So those are the two events that had happened. So, so through the events, how did the Lord come to move into your life in terms of when did you re remember exactly that turning moment? Yeah, um, when I was four years old, I accepted Jesus as my Savior. Wow, and then four. I, yeah. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> and then at 13, I understood what it meant as far as Lord, mm -hmm. you know, Him taking control of my life. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that surely so. helped you through yes. those events. It I did. Mean, I, was, I guess the Lord knew that, you know, he knows all things. Right. So by having you saved at such an early age, right. you already, your footsteps are already ordered to That's be right. ready for the events coming f further down the road. Yeah. No, so so tell me about uh, do you do all your, your writing yourself or yeah I um I write the original music I started back in uh, 1988 okay yeah so I learned how to get all my music copywritten okay well, yeah. we, we yeah. know we know about that out here in Hollywood <laughs> <laughs> I would land right, you know you so. hear all, all of a sudden you hear remixes and other versions and say, wait a minute is that my song and you uh, say no, uh, excuse me ching ching no Hello. so now you have uh, two more songs to share with us right. Correct. Okay, so what mm -hmm. are the other two you're going to share with us? Okay. Um, one of them is a Christmas song okay. that I wrote. I can oh. hear the angels sing. Oh, it has okay. a little bit of Spanish flavor. Okay. My dad was Puerto Rican. All right. So. And then um, the other song is called The Love Fugitive, and that's basically about my dad. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, he was bound in a world of drugs for 30 years. Wow. And yeah. when he passed away, he was considered a kingpin. Mm -hmm. But the Lord used me to bring him into the kingdom before he passed away. Oh, praise God. So it's never, never too late. So yeah. those of you think, well, my life has been filled with sin. Uh, it's too late for me. No, no, no. It's never too late because if you say, Lord, come into my life, which we'll get to at the end of the show, it's never too late to ask him to come into yeah. your life. And any reason, I am praise God for that because that's yes. really touches my father. I uh, passed away of uh, prostate cancer. Okay. And just before he passed, he came to know the Lord. Beautiful. And all his, his wife the whole time was there. Yeah. So those of you who have people who, who seem to be not in line with the Lord, Prayer helps bring them into line. You may think it's not working, but you're planting that seed of prayer, and eventually they come to know the yes. Lord. Well, let me, well, I'll come back to all that. We want to hear these next two songs. I'll okay. give you Miss Evelyn Nelson. Thank you. Huh. 